What's up guys, my name is Michael and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to do another lead code challenge called reverse words in a string 3. So you're given a string and you need to reverse the ordering of the characters in each word within a sentence while still preserving the white space in the initial order. So in this case we have let's take lead code contest. All the values of let's take lead code contest is in the same order but the letters for each word is now reversed. Now reversed. They're in a reversed order. So now the essentially is each word is separated by a single space but it, it has the same order but it's reversed the letters are reversed so I'm going to explain to you how I would do this question and basically I haven't done this question yet but it's gonna be almost exactly like the previous video that I just showed you essentially is what we need to do is create an ice stream stream and basically separate every single word in by its spaces then for each word that we get, what we're going to do is we are going to call the reverse method onto the string and then concat take that word. Then we create a new string, that was a string that we're returning to return and concatenate it onto that. So every time you do, you're basically reversing the string, concatenate it into the string you're returning, add a space, reversing the string, concatenate it to the string you're returning, add a space. You keep going until you have no more words in your string. Okay, so what, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do that right now. Keep in mind, guys, that I could make a bunch of mistakes here because I'm just doing it with you guys. Okay, so I'm going to call create a string stream, I stream, I string stream, call ISS that passes in S. What I'm going to do is I'm going to create a string called each word. Each word. I'm going to set this to empty. So, and then while each word, I'm going to do while ISS. I'm going to essentially read in each word. Okay, so then what I'm going to this is going to separate each word into its unique word. Okay, it's going to separate each every single every single word inside the string by the spaces. So it's going to have let's take lead code contest. These are now separate words each that uh, that each uh, each individual words right. Now I'm going to create a string called to return. To return is going to be my final string that I am essentially going to return into reverse words. That's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to return to return. Now for each each word, what I'm going to do is I'm going to call the reverse method of a string. Now I forgot the reverse method of a string, but essentially is is that string reverse method is basically just going to return all the it's going to reverse all the values in the string in reverse order. So in this case, the string reverse, you actually, here it actually takes an iterator, which is very strange. Let's see if we could find one for strings. Uh, let's see, reversing a string. Otherwise, we have to write our own reverse method, which is something I don't want to do. Oh, okay, so you could just call std reverse copy begin copy end. Okay, so all I have to do essentially is just create a um, st, call std reverse and I pass in each word begin and then each word end so that's going to reverse all the words uh, how, like how I think it's going to do is it's going to reverse co copy begin copy end and uh, what so let's see uh, let's see uh, da, 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 da. reversed tr okay so there's a way to do this without okay yeah um, let me just see another example just to see if it actually does work the way I intended to because if it doesn't work then we have problems here because then then because I don't want to actually create my own reverse method which we could do but I don't want to do that let's see reverse a string in C++ there should be a way to do this okay so you could do you are displaying reverse in the output and you're reversing but the string never reverse so you use Okay, reverse name. So, okay, so to create, use a C out. Okay, go to S. Okay, so reverse underscore name is. Um, okay, so I'm actually going to use this method. You are first displaying the reverse string. Uh, wait, what is the difference between this? Actually, we'll try both of them and see if this works or not. Because if it does work, then essentially as well, it will work. So, uh,. I'm going to create a new string called to add and I'm going to point this to the reverse string of each word. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to do to return is now equal to to return plus 
to add and I'm going to concatenate a space that's what I'm gonna do um okay so I'm actually gonna concatenate to add and then I'll if it's not the end then I'll concatenate a space so if the string in the end if um, let's see how am I gonna do that huh that's a good question okay so in order to check if in order to check how many words there are I have to actually I have to actually add a space space only if only if the only if I didn't reach the end okay so I have to add a space only if I didn't reach the end and if I do reach the end I don't add a space that's basically how I have to do this but let's see uh, let's just see what this returns because I don't even know what this returns honestly let's run a okay so th this is a void function okay so the we know that std reverse is actually a void function so maybe I don't actually have to create a to add I could just do each word so essentially what I think this is going to do is it's going to add each word in its reversed format but it's not going to have any space oh but it's going to have spaces okay so okay so okay okay um yeah okay so it, it did what I thought it would do um problem is is that now that you have a space extra space in the end and what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove that space so I'm actually going to do a two re two return is going to equal to two return dot substring from zero to uh, zero to two return dot size minus one if I recall correctly yeah okay so I'm going to do two return equals two return dot substring to return dot size minus one so I'm this is going to sub the is basically going to I'm gonna start from zero and I'm going to essentially only take the 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 number of letters which is the original size minus one so that gets rid of the space uh, let's run the code again let's see if this works okay so it got rid of the space let's submit and it passed holy crap okay so that I didn't expect that to work but okay basically that worked and yeah that's how you would do it let's see how other people did it let's see the solution actually so a simple solution okay so they did what I did uh, without using predefined split and reverse okay so they wrote their own split which sounds uh, okay so they use a string builder here okay it looks like all the complexity is O of n so I think this is the only way to do it honestly what I think is the only way to do it so yeah uh, rate comment subscribe I'll check you guys later let's see if there's another person who did faster okay so he did okay so he did the exact same thing as I did um oh, wait no he's asking a question okay okay I don't I don't know what he's doing uh, I thought that was a better solution than me but yeah this is how you, I would do it um, and a way to make this better is actually just to n only add the space when you reach the end but then that I think that would require going through twice another thing we could call trim but that's the same thing as substringing zero to size minus one size minus one removes the last space because you're only substringing zero to space but yeah anyway rate comment subscribe i hope you guys enjoyed this video it's just pretty fast reverse words